Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Evo India. Today I've got a special treat for you. This is the 2023 Tata Nexon. Tata Motors has given the Nexon a major update seven years into its lifespan. And because the Nexon is such an important car for Tata Motors, over 5 lakh Tata Nexons on the road today and it's a segment leader for two years in the row. And that's why Tata Motors has given it a lot of changes in the 2023 version. It gets mechanical upgrades, it of course gets all the new design updates. But I'm going to tell you all about the Tata Nexon right after you like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've done that already, let's get straight to the Chief of Design of Tata Motors, Martin Urharik, to tell you all about what's new in the 2023 Tata Nexon. I've got Martin with me, who's the Head of Design at Tata Motors, and he's going to talk you through the design of the updated Nexon. So Martin, tell us what's interesting in this new update. Well, uh, the Nexon has been a very successful product for us. Uh, it's very bold, it's very confident. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, we wanted to offer something new mm -hmm. to the customers, redefine a, a very proven recipe. Right. So the main thing is it looks very confident. It has a very high nose. Mm -hmm. It looks wide. It looks capable. It's safe. Yeah. Uh, it's an SUV, but at the same time, it's a high-tech SUV. Right. That's really the, the through line now. Mm -hmm. Everywhere where we looked at uh, improving the vehicle, we added technology. And we always say digital technology, but whether it's LED lamps through the, the DRLs or through the new housing lamp here to the interior with the screens in the rear, which has the signature X factor. Yeah. Everywhere, it's not just uh, visual aesthetics, but there's actually something behind it. What do you like the most about the exterior of the Nexon? In the front, I just like the simplicity of it and uh, sort of the, the sculpture, uh, overall the mass and the proud uh, face. In the rear, it's clearly the X factor, the tail lamps. That's for me the, the signature of what makes a Nexon recognizable. Now we'll show you the rear. So let's turn this car around and show you what's new on the back. Yes, Martin, so the rear, it looks very interesting. Entire light bar now in the next one. Yes, yeah, so this, this light guide, light bar, which runs the whole width of the car, makes the car look wider. And of course, like I said, the X Factor, which is a signature, what makes a Nexon immediately recognizable, is now not only a daylight aspect, but also a nighttime signature. Yeah. At the same time, we really wanted to clean up the, the volume. So the entire tailgate is new. Mm. And what we did was we hid the wiper, which used to be here, sort of mounted on the glass. Yeah. That's now hidden mm. at uh, zero under the spoiler, which is a longer spoiler, better aerodynamics, better performance, and also just the overall sculpture of the rear volume, improving the interior capacity, interior roominess, and just making the car dynamic. And it's also a dynamic tail light. Yes, it has a very unique signature. So when you turn it on, it starts at the T logo and then expands outward, and it has a little bit of an animation. So when you click your key, you immediately see, see that it's the Nexon. Yeah. Now let's show you the car in profile because this car is the same size as the pre-facelift Nexon, but it does look a lot longer. So Martin, tell us what the car looks like from the side profile. Still the same four meters uh, yeah. that it always was, but what we did was we really tried to marry the new parts of the car, the, the nose and the rear, yeah. and some, some interventions on the side with, with, the, with the classic parts. So, so, you know, for instance, this shoulder line, mm -hmm. you know, now runs way right into the bumper. So your eye runs it all the way from the front through the body side and right into the tail and around the corner. So all of these sort of connecting the dots mm -hmm. really makes the car look longer. At the same time, what used to be the hockey stick, uh, which used to be a contrasting element, right. is now part of the cabin. Again, that just simplifies the vehicle, makes it longer. And even here, which used to be a traditional sort of uh, side impact uh, black, black cladding piece, yeah. that's now tone in tone with the body color. As you mentioned, also the spoiler is bigger. Yes. Uh, we extended the spoiler. Uh, we did do a number of uh, aerodynamic work on the car. You can actually see it has a little bit of a, a wave in it, but we did extend that for, for aerodynamic purposes and for overall efficiency, fuel economy. And you've done something similar to the alloy wheels? Yes, we, we're, we've designed a new alloy wheel. This one has inserts, 
So there's a number of versions that this wheel has. So you'll see as the different personas, different trim levels roll out, you'll see variations of this wheel. But fundamentally, we just wanted to make it optically look larger. Right. Uh, and at the same time, as, as homogenous with the rest of it. So you can see, for instance, the, uh, the lines are matching the, the lights and things like that. Yeah. Now quickly let's hop into the interiors of the next one and show you what's new in the car. Okay. So fr from an interior point of view, you're finally seeing in production some of the ideas that we previewed with some of our concepts like the Curve and the Sierra. Starting with the steering wheel, the corporate steering wheel is now the production version where the Tata logo illuminates when you turn the vehicle on and you have the capacitive switches on the side. At the same time, all of the user interface, the digital interface, is really the area where we focused on. So the screen in front of the driver, the 10-inch screen here in the center of the vehicle, a much leaner instrument panel, so the vents are you know, much slimmer, but at the same time, just as efficient as they were before. We also have a soft trimmed piece here, which is tone in tone with the uh, color in terms of the persona that you choose. The, the, what traditionally used to be the HVAC switches are capacitive switches. So again, all of these uh, icons are black when, when the car is off and they illuminate as soon as you turn the car on. We also have an, a new gear selector and there's been a huge emphasis on quality in terms of plastic finishes, the, the materials used, even this, this finish here, which is just a plastic finish, if you look at it, there is a sort of gradation there. You know what, these updates do make the Nexon look smart inside and out. And I think it looks better in the flesh than it does in pictures. So do have a look at it in showrooms near you. Yes, Tata Motors hasn't just done a facelift on this car, but has also given it a lot of mechanical updates to make it a safer car than before. As you know, the Bharat NCAP tests kick off very soon and the Nexon has been strengthened in key areas to make the structure a lot more stronger than before. Tata Motors has built a brand around safety and with the Nexon, they will score five stars is what the entire team at Tata Motors is confident about. And that means they've done a lot of changes to the structure of the car. This car, before the Bharat NCAP tests, had more strengthening on the right side, the driver's side, but now it gets symmetrical strengthening on both sides for both the driver and the passenger. It gets six airbags now, that's standard now across all variants. And the next one, it feels like it's a lot more solid car from the inside. Outside noise does get filtered out. The NVH levels have definitely improved in the next one. A big update that Tata Motors just glossed over in the product presentation of the Nexon is the new twin clutch gearbox. The Nexon now comes with the DCA transmission and it's not the same one that you get in the Altros. The Altros gets a dual clutch but it comes with the naturally aspirated motor. This is the turbo petrol motor and so it's got a lot more torque to handle. The gear ratios are different and it's a wet clutch that is suited to Indian road conditions, dustier, harsher temperatures you know all these conditions the gearbox handles better so it performs at its optimum best in all sorts of road conditions and that's what Tata Motors says is going to be good over the long run in terms of maintenance of the gearbox um, also it makes the drive so much smoother this DCT isn't identical to what you get in the Altros DCA it's been dialed up to handle higher torque from the turbo petrol engine and of course the Nexon brings its unique set of load requirements the diesel does get the six-speed AMT and it gets the six-speed manual as well as the petrol. So that's that's the regular bit. But in the turbo petrol, you can get the dual clutch now. And the driving experience is so much nicer, smooth, and it's a lot more faster. You get paddle shifters. The paddles itself are quite nice and they are with the steering wheel. They're not on the column. So, I mean, you can easily use them. Um, nice to drive. But because it's a three-cylinder motor, the noise when you're driving the car too much is quite high. So at like two, two and a half, three thousand RPM, nice and smooth, the NVH levels are fine. But the faster you go, you can hear the three-cylinder noises filter in. 
otherwise the NVH levels have improved significantly much nicer the materials on the inside they soak in a lot of the noise and the acoustics have improved inside the car now let's dive into what makes this Nexon special the ride quality it's as smooth as silk just gliding over roads you love how it hugs the corners with its improved handling prowess one of the key USPs of the Nexon was the ride quality and thankfully that just is as nice as ever the ride quality the dynamics this this car does handle well on a nice winding road and there were a few uh, roads just outside the hotel where we were uh, staying and uh, that has a bit of twisties and the nexon does feel like a nice planted car through the corners it's got good driving dynamics the ride quality is good with the dct it just makes the user experience so much nicer so much more you know premium it's a nice step up to the pre facelift nexon a lot of owners of the nexon and there are five lakh of them would want to upgrade to another car with the 2023 nexon does feel like a good upgrade to the previous nexon now on the features front the nexon has taken a big big step up the display screen the instrument cluster is all new and it's fully digital you can actually customize the views that you want and one of those views is the navigation so all your map display and all that stuff comes right here you do get it in the central console but for the driver it's good to have it here you're a lot more focused on the road uh, you get a lot of different views there and you get of course the big new 10.25 inch touch screen over here the screen is nice the quality of the colors display everything very nice customizable to the colors that you want but it's a little laggy uh, especially because now the next one it gets 360 degree cameras you get a front camera rear camera under the mirrors and it does a good projection of the car while you're parking and while you're navigating through a small rutted path or something like that but the feed is a little laggy that's one thing that tata motors can work on but otherwise there are so many features on this nexon that you didn't get before and the quality of the materials have improved the dash the soft touch over here the armrest quality and all this everything has made a big difference in the updated nexon the front seats that was one pain point in the nexon it was not as comfortable as um, you know i would like it now with the update the contouring has changed the cushioning all that has changed to make it a lot more comfortable and both the driver and the passenger seat have height adjustability now so both the both the passengers in front get a better view of the road ahead that's a nice uh, touch to give in a car like this Tata Motors has given the Nexon a long list of features with this update wireless phone charging automatic climate control the best bit though is that the Nexon now has a bigger boot the tailgate section has been completely redesigned so the boot gets bigger now offering 382 liters of boot space 32 more than before now that's a lot of updates right now the big update in the Nexon is the nine speaker system and the JBL system that you you get in the Nexon the quality of music is superb and because the NVH levels have improved the music quality and the time you spend listening to music in the car you're really going to enjoy that that's a big update to the Nexon it feels uh, like it's a feature from a lot more premium car something that you would get on say a Harrier or a Safari the quality is really really nice and you also get a lot of music modes in the display that you know you can choose for individual uh, passengers so there you have it folks the 2023 tata nexon lots of key feature upgrades a lot of mechanical upgrades too it does help tata motors solidify its position at the top of the compact suv segment what do you think about the tata nexon do let us know in the comments see you next time